Welcome to the Pandora's Box first grade training. This training examines the very first steps to get the Pandora's Box set up and a playback on screens. It will show you practical steps for timeline programming to achieve a show with multiple layers and picture in pictures in motion. Features like 3D objects, keystone and soft edge, output on a second screen are also part of this training. You will need to download the Pandora's Box software and some specific contents to have some training material available. If you do not own a manager dongle or an offline manager dongle, you need to download the Pandora's Box demo version. Watching the pre-training video is also mandatory before starting this tutorial. Let's start a new Pandora's Box project. Press Master in the Pandora's Box menu to start the Pandora's Box master application. If you do not use Pandora's Box menu, please find the executable either in the Windows Start menu or in the installation path. A startup dialog, Welcome to Pandora's Box, appears. In the field name, you can enter a project title, for example, Pandora's Box First Grade. You can choose to create a project in standard or lighting console mode. Please proceed with the standard mode. The point below is about the default settings. You can check Show Configuration to change the defaults before you start programming. Now the configuration window will appear first. By default Pandora's box is working in pixel-oriented mode. If you untick the checkbox, then Pandora's box render engine will work with generic units. Now click on New Project button. You see the Pandora's Box graphical user interface, short GUI. It will always look the same, regardless of which license or mode you are running. The interface is arranged in different main tabs, for example, the Project tab, Assets tab, Preview, Inspector, Devices tree, and last but not least, the Sequence tab. As this training is an offline training, you will have to use virtual clients instead of real clients, which are doing the rendering work and generate the output signals. How to connect a real client will be explained in the second grade tutorial. In the Device Types tab, you find all available devices to use in Pandora's Box software. For now, open the Pandora's Box Server folder and drag and drop Pandora's Box Server Dual into the Device Tree tab. The Device Tree tab contains all devices which are controlled by your manager session. The client is also called a site in Pandora's Box. Let's have a look at the Assets tab now. It has two functions. Importing files to the Project tab and loading available client devices to the Device Tree tab. Every machine that runs Pandora's Box and is connected to the network will appear in this tab with its complete Windows folder structure. It starts with the local system followed by all clients and or sub-managers. Just like in any other file browser, you can open and access a listed system, drive or folder by double-clicking on it. If you open a system, you will see all available drives in alphabetical order and then three special folders which are named Stock Assets, Project Assets and Live Inputs. The Stock Assets folder is a direct link to the location C, Coolux, Content, Stock Assets and will be created automatically by installing Pandora's Box. In this folder you can find some useful files like test patterns in different resolutions, 
color images, 3D objects and other test files. Let's navigate to test patterns 9020 by 1080 and drag a test pattern from the Assets tab into the Project tab. Inside of the project tree you have the option to create folders to keep your files organized the way you want. Right click onto your project name, create folders and subfolders and rename these as required. All folders and files will be listed in an alphabetical order. By drag and drop you can move all necessary files or folders from the Assets tab to your Project tab. Now it's time to save the project. If you enter the project name in the welcome screen already, this name is suggested to use for the save file. Saving a file will automatically create a folder with the same name to save your project file in. In addition, there are two more subfolders created. One is called Assets, the other one Local Cache. We recommend to stick on your project file for all times. Please only use Save instead of Save As. To store a backup of your project, please use Save Project Copy. This function will only save your project file to a certain location, leaving the project-related folder structure untouched. Now you need the content you downloaded in the beginning. We recommend to copy it to C, Kulux, Content, Projects, your project name, Assets, to make use of the Project Assets folder within the Assets tab. At least you should use the C, Kulux, Content folder to make use of the powerful Pandora's Box hardware structure. Take the Media Loops folder and drag it into the Project tab. Once you change things in the Windows Explorer, you need to do a Refresh folder with a right-click within the Referring folder in the Assets tree to make this change visible in Pandora's Box Assets tab. Do not drag contents from removable devices like USB sticks or other external drives into Pandora's Box Resources tab. If the hard drive or USB stick is removed, the content will be removed from the project too. Besides that, every connected client refers to the same content directory. Please note that the whole content in the Project tab is only a direct link to the contents location in Windows Explorer. If you would like to have a preview of files you want to add, then select a folder or file and open the thumbnail viewer next to the Preview tab. This tab can be used the same way as the Assets tab. This tab displays media files as thumbnail. All video thumbnails will display a frame from the middle of the video. They do not show the first frame. Now it's time to play back a video file. By double clicking on the site, it will reveal some of its devices, which can also be called layers. Please select a file in the project tab, drag and drop it onto the empty line on layer 1 on the sequence tab. The created container is a visualization of program parameters on the sequence. By clicking on the sequence bar, you can move the Now pointer on the container's position. The Now pointer is the current playback of the sequence. All connected systems will be synchronized to this time. Actually, the preview is still black, because every side needs to be toggled into the preview. To make the preview visible, perform a right-click on the site and select Toggle Preview. The icon of the site turns blue, which means that the preview for the site is activated 
and the video becomes visible in the All Cameras preview. To reference what exactly is happening to the output of the client system, you can change the preview to the output. For now, stay in the All Cameras preview. For playing back any video, press play or use the spacebar for play and pause. Navigating through the sequence can be done by clicking on the sequence timebar or best by using keyboard shortcuts like using the spacebar. You will find the shortcut list in the zip file you downloaded in the beginning. Let's perform another save. Like in every software, this is essential, so never forget to save your project every now and then.